and welcome to a special Better Communications Results. Today I'm having a look at a Holden Commodore, or Holden Cruise I should say, the Cruise uh, hatchback. Um, the reason I'm looking at it is because um, the Holden's social media team came to Adelaide recently and uh, regaled us full of stories including that this new hatch is actually built in Adelaide here in uh, Elizabeth. Uh, in South Australia and uh, so you know rather than it being Korean it's uh, it's a South Australian job so I thought uh, well that deserves trumpeting and I'll uh, I'll talk about it so I took the car for a week uh, they very kindly lend it to me and I have been driving it for a week and come up with a, a few different uh, things and thoughts about the car um, first off, uh, the Holden Cruise is a great little car to drive. I haven't had so much fun driving a car in decades. Um, I didn't expect it to be as, as nimble around corners. I didn't expect the handling to be as light as it is. It's just beautiful to drive, sticks to the road like anything. So really impressed with that. Um, in terms of it being a family car, uh, it's only a family car if you've got uh, a couple of very small kids. Uh, there's not a lot of leg room in the back. Um, otherwise, uh, it's great for the, uh, the passengers in the front. Um, and also, if you've got a little baby or something, you can put the baby seat in the back and, and you'll you be fine. Um, but you're not going to get adults in the back of that, not without it being very, very squeezy. But um, I just, as I say, I just loved driving this for a whole week. Um, the 1.4 litre uh, turboed engine, tons and tons of power with it. Didn't expect it to have that much power. Now it sort of runs out of power when you're on the freeway in fifth and sixth gear. It's a bit hard to accelerate then uh, and you, you've got to drop it back to fourth. But apart from that, uh, it runs really smoothly and plenty of oomph and get up and go. So even though it's only a 1.4 engine, you wouldn't know that it's only a 1.4 engine. The turbo in there gives it plenty of oomph, plenty of power away from the lights. So very impressed with that. Um, it's keyless uh, entry, so the nice thing is you can have the key, which I haven't got in my pocket, but you can have it in your pocket. Oh, I have. I have. I've got the keys in my pocket. Uh, and you can uh, just walk up to the car, even though it's locked, and because of the remote sensing, it will just, you can open the car door and it'll unlock for you. Uh, also, it's got a push button start, uh, which, is, uh, which is a neat little gizmo. Um, but it makes uh, hacking the car, I suppose, you know, breaking in and hacking it makes it that much harder to do. I don't know, it might make it easier, who knows. Um, but it's just a little gizmo or a little gadget and uh, it's well cool. You just put the... And the nice little thing about the safety feature of it on the, on the, on the uh, manual version, I don't know about the automatic, but the manual version, is that you've got to have your foot on the clutch. The clutch has got to be down for the engine to start. So you couldn't have little kids wandering around the car, push the start button and the engine starts up. Um, it just doesn't work that way. There's that foul safe clutch has got to be in. So that's cool. Um, uh, invita the, the infotainment system. Uh, very, very impressive. I uh, was able to connect my uh, iPhone up to, um, to the, the car with a little uh, uh, cable, which you've got to provide yourself, the, 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 the standard uh, iPhone connection cable. Uh, and uh, just, yeah, plugs in reads all your playlists um, and you can sort of uh, navigate the whole iPhone and uh, iPod from the uh, the infotainment uh, panel in the front with a nav system as well. Navigation system is very accurate, very quick. I've got a, a nav system in my own uh, car, you know, one of these sort of third party ones you stick on your window and it takes ages to find the satellites. Uh, this system found it really, really quickly. Uh, so I was very impressed with that. Um, the boot, the size of the boot, there's plenty of space in there. Uh, you can stick a pram in there and stick a stroller, although you stick a pram and a stroller, you've not got room for much else. Um, but you can certainly stick a pram or a stroller in there and still have room for your shopping. So that's, that's, uh, that's cool, that past. The one thing that stops me from buying this car, the one thing which surprised me, but it's the fuel consumption. This is a very thirsty car. Now, when I picked the car up, it had just 2,000 kilometers on the clock, but it already had a reading of 9.9 .9 liters per uh, 100 kilometers. Now, I got it down to 9.1, and I'm still driving with some gusto, but uh, it did surprise me that the, uh, the fuel reading was up so high, considering it's only a little 1.4 liter engine. So that would be a, 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 a 
tick against it. But otherwise, it's in a, in, a, in a sheet where there are tons and tons of ticks for it. Really thoroughly enjoyed driving this car. I haven't enjoyed driving a car for decades, as I said before. So I've decided rather than buy the car myself, which I'd love to do, but the 28 and a half grand plus costs is a bit too much for me. So rather than buy the car, I've decided that I'm going to steal it. So this is Lee Hopkins in Australia somewhere in Australia uh, with a new Holden Cruise hatch and saying goodbye. Bye-bye.